Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Channel 48. Thank you for tuning in on this dark Monday afternoon. I'm here with my Samsung Galaxy S9 after Victor sent me a message about a new Pixel ROM that was released with a new Fender. So I was like, hey, that is very nice. So he sent me the links and uh, I downloaded the ROM. The ROM is created by Dylan, Dylan Nive. I hope I pronounce it the right way. At least he's the owner of the of the of the Google uh, Drive. Most of the times the owner is as well the ROM creator. Okay, I don't see ROM creators putting their ROM on a storage that belongs to somebody else. I'm just doing some logical thinking here. So I think that Dylan is the developer. So Dylan, big up to you, my friend. Well, what is it? I don't know, we're gonna go ahead and install it. It's a Pixel experience and it has a new fender and according to Victor, uh, certain things are you know, fixed now. So you should not have no brightness problems. Uh, I had a friend asking me the other day uh, and testing all sorts of GSIs. I forgot, what was his name again? I think he was from Indonesia. I forgot his name, man. Ah. Wakaki or so, so something like that. But uh, he as well had problems with installing, you know, GSIs and including the other ROMs that are already out uh, on his Note 9 because he was having a brightness problem. So yeah, I think that should be fixed now. Uh, we're gonna update the Fender, so we will as well format the Fender if we're gonna go into a recovery mode. So welcome again to Channel 48, my name is Puck, and let's get started. <laughs> Here you can see the download folder and uh, here you can read that the owner is Dylan Neve. So big ups to Dylan for creating this, this room. Okay, so let's do a little wipe, advanced wipe Dalvik system. Oh, should I as well flash the fender? Probably I should flash the fender as well because we're getting an updated fender catch okay we're just gonna flash everything like that and then um did i already copy the rom let me see pixel experience released on the 23rd of january blob yes this is the new one so let's go ahead and install it Uh, this is, of course, Android 12. Okay. So we now have, let me see, uh, we have Aero OS and two other ROMs that I as well showed uh, from some uh, new developers that I never showed ROMs from before on XDA. That was, I think, a week ago. And today, we have a new ROM, Pixel Experience, released yesterday. So this is hot, fresh from the press, to say this way. The bits and bytes are still warm, nice and warm, crispy. So get ready to see the boot up. Patching the system. Patching fender. And this should do it. Let's wipe a little catch Dalvik. And let's reboot the system and see what we're gonna get. Zit. Tudum. There you go. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Boot animation is as well right. It 
it's not uh, showing Android here. It's showing it nice at the bottom. That is good. Resolution is... Uh, oh! <laughs> okay, the speech is always a problem. Don't worry about it, okay? Um, alrighty. So, let's get started. English... Oh, it wants to... It, it put it to Dutch. I don't want Dutch. Yo no comprendo. English, por favor. And then set up offline. I love this, this clicks, click. Oh, nice sound. Nice click. Lovely. Slightly different than the other clicks that I know. Or maybe my ears are just more awake today. System navigation, swipe up. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, peeps, look at that. Brightness is in one time good. Um, swiping up is not going too good at this point. It's uh, still setting up. Okay, let me see, what do we have here? We have the Play Store built in, that works. It's a matter of logging in after you connect it to the internet. Launcher is up and running now. It's done, so you must give it uh, 20 seconds. After you get into the home screen, don't try to swipe immediately. Just wait 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and then it will work fine. So let's give the phone a little test here. Da, 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 da. Welcome by Leica. Welcome by Leica Mobile. Okay, that sounds very nice. Um, okay, it's calling. Good, that works. Um, safety net. Oh, what is this? Safety net. Safety, not safety net. Has nothing to do with safety net. Apologies for that. <laughs> we have a nice recorder here. Get started. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Ça va? Safe. This is a very, a hey, make no mistake with the S9, eh? the S9 makes very nice recordings as well in a loud environment. So if you're, you know, filming some band and you're standing, let's say, uh, some meters from it and it's not like very, very loud, you know, otherwise you must stand a bit further, but you're going to get home, you're going to come home with great recordings, really. This is a very, very good phone. Don't ever throw it away if you have it. Try to put a new battery, you know, these things. It makes very, very nice pictures. Sometimes a little bit too nice. Too much pixels, you know what I mean? I always look better when they have less pixels. Hello, como esta usted, amigo? Let's see how it works. It's a good video. You can do all sorts of things with, 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 with this phone. You can use it for for uh, for video editing. You can use it for many things. Make phone calls, play games. So what do we have more? Uh, a calculator, we have uh, a calendar, we have the Chrome browser. This is really a Pixel phone. This is, yeah, I think Pixel 6 or so. Let's, let's take a look into the settings for a second. G960F, okay, it found the model really nice. Lovely. It's 
super sweet. I miss are all there. Uh, Bluetooth and so yeah, I don't use Bluetooth, but maybe maybe it works. We're gonna take a look in a second. Stay away, with you. This is for the picture. Let's put a better background like this. Algorithm picture. Okay. So there we are. Uh, I was talking about. Do we have face unlock? Face unlock. Some people love face unlock, and they need it. Face. Enable face detection. Is that is that the same as face unlock? I'm not. I'm not sure if that is the same. Face detection. Face detection uses the front-facing camera to improve auto-rotate accuracy. No, 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 that's not accuracy. I mean, <laughs> not accuracy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Location. You can enable your location for GPS to work. If the GPS works. Uh, how about fingerprint, uh, scanner, security, fingerprint, fingerprint password, fingerprint pin, fingerprint, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, okay, next, and then don't show. More, yes, okay. Where should I put my finger? Do it now. Uh, oh, it's on the back. Oh, no, never mind. It's all good. Oh, but we should test. But this is not about you. This is about... <sighs> I can never think, understand that people put a fingerprint scanner at the back. Choose a new ah, forget it. It's all good. Peeps, I think it works. Okay, you must check it out. I never use that. It's ridiculous to put my finger here at the back because I always put it on the camera, you see? And then my camera lens gets dirty. So I don't use fingerprint. I'm good. I'm not using any code in, in my phones. I don't like that. Only in my main phone I have to, you know? But... Normally, I don't use passwords. You can block your mic and your camera. Oh, look at that green. So nice. Beautiful. Looks kind of a bit like the uh, the room that uh, Express Look as well created. But then for the S10, I think that any time from now, something's going to come out from Express Look as well. Or maybe even from iPhone. He's as well working on the S10. So now we have uh, the S10 covered, the S9 covered, the S8 covered, the S7 is covered by Express Look, including iPhone. Uh, only the S6 is still suffering with milking ROMs, ROMs that we keep milking and give new models to still keep the S6 alive and make videos about it, you know, but that's all we can do so we need development for the s6 but this looks good and uh the best thing best part is that it's not dark or so you can see everything good brightness is working at the front uh, trying all sorts of rooms i hope that this uh, will help him out to get an even better experience with Android 12 on his phone. Samsung Galaxy S9 owners, uh, congratulations again. You got yourself a beautiful ROMs and you have Android 12 at your fingertips. 
Wow, we are so lucky getting all these ROMs one after the other. A new beautiful ROM for the S9, S9 Plus, including the Note 9. Thanks so much, Dylan Neve. Keep up the good work, okay? And uh, yeah, you're on channel 48 now, and I'm sure this will not be your only video, so more videos will follow. Uh, just send me the work. I want to thank Victor a whole lot for sending me the link and you know uh, keeping me informed so big up to you as well victor and yeah to you the what just all i can say is you know the almighty loves all of us so keep keep the love you know keep loving and keep loving yourself as well very important eh? you cannot love somebody else if you don't love yourself so keep that always in mind and uh, yeah, then I can only rest with saying, have a beautiful day, have a nice meal, and maybe you will see me in a video later on again. Thank you for watching. God bless you.